Hey guys, welcome back to Maker's Gonna Learn. My name's Alicia and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make the super cute rhinestone tumbler in under 15 minutes. Here are all the supplies you're gonna need to complete the entire project. The first thing you're gonna need is a tumbler. So we decided to go with this ceramic mug. Um, it's a 14 ounce double wall vacuum mug. So this is like kind of like a, I wanna call it like a Yeti. Um, but this one we actually got from Joann's and you can do this project on a plastic surface. So you could get like a plastic skinny tumbler if you wanted to. Whatever is has a smooth surface that's gonna allow the decal to actually adhere um, is gonna work great for this project. And then you're also gonna need two different colors of heat transfer glitter vinyl. We're gonna do black and turquoise today. Another thing that you're gonna need is this magic flock. This is very important for the rhinestones. Um, we will show you how to use this, but this is called magic flock. And then you're gonna need rhinestone transfer tape. That's what this is. And then you're also gonna need HTV anything. So lots of different materials you're gonna need for this project. And you're also gonna need to get a strong grip Cricut mat. And then we've got rhinestones. You could do whatever colors you want. We're using, I wanna say, this color's called Atlantis and they're SS10. So there's different sizes of these rhinestones. We went with the SS10 and I'll show you when we get into design space, how we actually use the numbers and all of that. Um, but the SS6, the SS10 and SS16, those are pretty standard and they're all different sizes. So I'm gonna show you guys how we kind of decide um, how big to do our design and all that. And then you're gonna need one of these little fancy brushes. I'll show you how to use that as well. And all of this is linked in the description below. So if you're having trouble understanding what material I'm using, you can look below in the description and all those are linked. And then you're also gonna need a heat press and we're gonna be using our Cricut heat press today. Okay, so now we're gonna jump on over into design space. So we've already got our flower, our scalloped design right here. This is off of the Makers Gonna Learn website and we have it linked below for you so you can pull that up. Um, and then we are going to go ahead and plug in our text and we have actually made some special rhinestone fonts for you all. So we're gonna be doing a monogram font and I'm gonna come up here, I've typed in my first initial and you can come and type in rhinestone after you've downloaded it and put it into your design software. We're gonna go ahead and do our left letter and then we can go ahead and do our right one as well. And we're gonna go ahead and change this to the circle right rhinestone font. And then we're gonna put these right beside each other. So whenever you pull these fonts in here, depending on the size rhinestone that you use, you're gonna need to make your font different sizes. Um, whenever you go to download these fonts, you're gonna see that depending on the rhinestone size, it will give you a font size. So since we're using the SS10 rhinestones, we need to make our font a size 97. So we're gonna go ahead and resize up here and I'm gonna just type in 97 and you can do the same thing for the other side. And then I'm just gonna space those out a little bit and you can actually go ahead and align them. So I'm just gonna center vertically and that way they are perfectly in line and we have a little baby gap right here. So once your letters are lined up, we're gonna click and drag and then I'm gonna go ahead and attach those and we're gonna center them with our scallops. And you may end up needing to resize your scallop. So we're gonna go ahead and center it and then see if we need to make it a little bit bigger, which it's looking like we do. So I'm gonna click on our little flower and I'm just gonna bring it out a smidge. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you measure the area that your cup um, decal is going on. So we have about a three inch space. So I don't want to make this bigger than three inches. 
So it's really gonna matter in design space how big you make all of your design and it's gonna matter how much of an area you're needing to cover. And you also have to consider how big your rhinestones are. So you can't really make it too, too big or too, too small. You have to be very particular about your sizes. So I'm gonna click and drag and I'm gonna align this in the center so it's perfectly aligned. And now I'm going to add an offset and we don't want anything super crazy. Let me pull this down so you all can see it a little bit better. I don't want to do this much. That's a little bit too much. So I'm gonna change this to 0 0.09 and I know that that's what I like because we've already done our sample. So this is what we ended up going with and it's really gonna depend on your design. So you need to make it to how you prefer. I'm gonna apply that. After you add the offset, we're gonna go ahead and drag that out here and we're gonna contour out all of these little tiny triangles. We want that to be a solid scallop circle. So we're gonna click contour and then we're gonna click hide all contours and then we're gonna X off and then you have a solid scallop circle. Next, we're gonna duplicate this because we need to have a scalloped round shape out of HTV anything as well as our glitter heat transfer vinyl. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this and I'm gonna make these two different colors. We can leave one black and then I'm gonna go ahead and make this one red. It doesn't matter what color it is. We just need it to be separate because we're cutting it on different types of vinyl. Next, we're gonna duplicate our letters. So I'm just gonna select my letters and I'm gonna duplicate those and pull this down. And then we're going to need to have the outline of the letters and we also need the dots by themselves. So I'm gonna keep this selected and I'm gonna go ahead and weld it first and then I'm gonna reselect it and we're gonna contour. So we need all of the dots. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this, this and this one and then we're gonna X out of that. Now you can kind of see where the rhinestones are gonna be cut out. This is what we're cutting on the Magic Flock, the blue velvety textured vinyl thing I showed you earlier. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of this because it's gonna be on a different material than the other things. And the colors are not gonna matter here. You just don't want them the same as everything else. After you've contoured the outline of the letters, we're gonna do the exact opposite here. And I'm going to weld these letters and then I'm gonna select them again and we're gonna contour all of those dots out. And the easiest way to do this is to hide all contours and then unselect the letter parts and then we'll X off of that. And then you're left with just your letters right here. After we've contoured everything out, we're gonna go ahead and select our scallop frame as well as the letters and then we are gonna weld these. That way they are cutting on the same material. So. Everything is a different color. That's what we're wanting here. Now let's go ahead and make it and I will show you all which settings to use. We're gonna go ahead and select on mat for this. We're using a mat for all of these cuts. And the first thing we're gonna be cutting is our scalloped round. So I'm gonna start with our HTV anything and I will show you guys the exact settings to cut this out on. So you're gonna go ahead and click continue here and we're gonna select our device, which we're using a Maker 3, and then we're gonna go to Browse All Materials. So once you're at your materials list, we're gonna type in Glitter Iron Dash On. And this is the setting we're gonna be using for our heat transfer anything. And you're gonna select Done. And then I will show you guys how to prepare your mat. The first thing we're gonna be cutting is the HTV Anything. So what you're gonna do with this is we're gonna put the shiny side up and we are not mirroring our image. So we're just leaving the image as is in design space and we're gonna put shiny side up and you can see that this is very matte and this is very shiny. So we wanna make sure that we put this shiny side up right here in the top corner and you can burnish it down. I'm using a strong grit mat, that way this doesn't slide anywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and load our mat in and we're gonna feed it through. And we're just using a basic fine point blade. And then we're gonna go ahead and select play. Okay, so once that's cut out, we're gonna go ahead and peel this off of the mat. 
and then you can separate the film from the backer. And if you look really close, you can see that we actually have the scallop circle cut out. The next material we're going to be cutting is our glitter heat transfer vinyl. So I've got it cut on this mat and we're going to go ahead and browse all materials. We're going to go to glitter iron on and then we're going to select done. And this time we are going to mirror our image. So you can go to edit, turn on mirror and hit done. This is going to be really important if you don't have a perfectly symmetrical design. So we're going to go ahead and use the same settings for our glitter heat transfer vinyl for the blue and the black as well. So we're going to hop back over to design space and the last thing that we have yet to cut is our magic flock. So we're going to cut this at the cardstock setting and we are also going to add more pressure. So I'm going to do cardstock adhesive backed, click done, and then under pressure we're going to select more. So this is our magic flock material. You're going to be able to feel the fuzzy texture on this whenever you use it. And then there's a white backing. We're just going to keep the fuzzy side up and put it right snug in the corner there. And you can run the brayer over that if you would like to. And then we're going to pop it right into the Cricut. So once your dots are cut out, we're going to go ahead and peel this magic flock off of our mat. And I'm going to weed this a little bit differently because it's kind of hard to see the velvet dots very well. What I'm going to do is pull off this backer. So this white backer, I'm just going to pull it right off. And it's going to pull off all of these little dots with it. So we want all the little dots to stay stuck. And a couple of them will try to come with your design but you can just kind of grab them with your finger. So it's going to peel off just like that. And we're only going to be using this part. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. I have a little bit of extra white space over here. I'm just going to go ahead and stick this right back on that. And then I'm going to trim around. Now, if you wanted to take the time to weed out all those little dots, you totally can do that. And you will also save a little bit of material. Um, but we just went ahead and did it this way because it's really hard to see those tiny dots and this kind of works for us. So what we're going to do next is go ahead and turn our heat press on. I've got it set at 320 so it's going to heat up and while it does that we're going to go ahead and work on our rhinestone placement. So what you'll need for this step is the rhinestone transfer tape. You're going to need this little fancy brush and you're going to need your SS10 rhinestones. Basically all you're going to do, you can just pour these directly from the bag. It's going to be a little messy, but that's okay. And I'm just going to sprinkle these all on top of there. Make sure you sprinkle enough. We're just going to take this little brush and you're going to lightly brush these rhinestones into the places. So the size of these circles makes it to where our rhinestones fall directly into the holes perfectly. It makes it super, super easy and foolproof to do a rhinestone project this way. So once all of your rhinestones are placed, we're just going to cut off a little piece big enough to cover all of this with our rhinestone transfer. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the backer. And then you're just going to go straight onto your rhinestones and it's going to pick those all up. You can kind of lightly brush your hands over them and then you're just going to pick all of those up. So this is what we've got after you peel that up. And I'm going to go ahead and sit this to the side and we're going to do all of our heat transfer glitter. We're basically going to lay our glitter heat transfer vinyl down face down. So the glittery side is facing down. And then this is the shiny side of the heat transfer vinyl anything, the HTV anything. And we're going to put that shiny side to the back of the glitter. So I'm just going to line those up perfectly and they should match up just exactly. And I've got this on a sheet of parchment paper. And I'm going to take another sheet and put it right on top. 
And then we're gonna take our Cricut press and we're gonna press for 10 seconds. So just be very careful. Okay, and then we will pull this off and just slowly and carefully, you're gonna remove this. Actually, we could go this way. That way it stays stuck to the sticker paper. But we peeled off the front film of the glitter vinyl and then you can see right here that this is now a sticker. So it's kind of shiny, pretty cool. So once we have our sticker done, we're going to do the same thing with this. You just wanna make sure you line it up. We're gonna keep it at 320 degrees and we're gonna do that for 10 more seconds. Just line it up. Go ahead and lay your piece of parchment paper over it. And we're gonna place our press right on top of this. And then once that's done, just carefully remove this transfer on top. And if you find any edges are lifting up, just go ahead and hit it with the heat again. Just be very, very careful. And then that's our decal. You could finish there, but we're going to fancy it up and put some really cool rhinestones. So once we're here, you're going to take our crystals that we did earlier and you're just gonna line those up right where you want them. And this is sticky, so you can kind of stick it to the backer of the sticker. And we're gonna lay this parchment paper right over top of it again. And this time, we're gonna keep it at 320 degrees. So now I'm just gonna bump this up to 35 seconds. And you're gonna sit this right on top of those rhinestones for that long. So after you pull the press off, you want to make sure to let this cool completely. You can kind of fan it around. You just don't want to pull it off while it's still super hot. So this is the finished product after you add the rhinestones. Super pretty. And another fun little hack is that you can reuse this stencil, this rhinestone stencil, as many times as you want. So if you're doing a logo for somebody and you want like multiples of something, or if you just want a bunch of your own monogram rhinestone mugs, you can just reuse your monogram over and over again. So after you adhere your rhinestones to your decal, we're gonna go ahead and peel this off. And I do wanna add that this is dishwasher safe and it's waterproof. So you can put this on here and you can throw this in the dishwasher and it's gonna be totally fine. I'm gonna go ahead and sit this up a little bit and then you just lay it right on there. And there you have it. Super cute, very fun. And you can play around with all different kinds of color rhinestones different colors of vinyl and all of that. How easy was it to complete this rhinestone project? I love how it turned out. The fonts that Maker's Gonna Learn offers make it super, super foolproof and easy for you guys to make your own rhinestone projects. And I really, really love how this turned out. There's so many different ways that you can put it together. I would love for you guys to join our community. If you visit makersgonnalearn.com, you can see all of our cut files and fonts that we have to offer. We would love to have you as a part of our community and we will see you guys next time. Bye.